I don't think women, men as well, in this day and age, have any real sense of what a normal breast is. Um, my life is, is spent in talking with people um, about their breasts and along with other parts of their body. But something I hear all the time is, I really want to have a natural result um, of my breast surgery, um, can I please? And then the person brings out their iPad or their phone and shows the kind of breast they want, which have all got unnatural looking breast implants with these cone-like huge things. So I actually think the modern perception of what a normal breast is like has, has been lost. In the media today, it's very uncommon to see young um, models without breast implants and with natural looking breasts. Um, and at any age, we're bombarded with celebrity pictures who all have, have, have uh, unnatural breasts. So kind of what I think is that what women and men now think of as a natural breast is just a good result of breast implant surgery breast. It's not a truly natural breast and I get people coming in very frequently for consultation saying my breast is droopy and it's not at all droopy, the breast, the nipple position is normal, it's a beautiful, magnificent looking breast but there's, there's not upper pole fullness. Now that is a normal breast. If you Google models of the 1960s you'll see that although some had breast implants, not very many did, and you'll see these natural looking, slightly pointier looking breasts with, with that upper pole fullness. That's a normal breast. And so there's a disjunction that's occurred between what is a normal breast and not. Really, the majority of images that people bring in to show me about their ideal normal breast from the internet have breast implants. It's uncommon to see uh, a patient's ideal breast not have breast implants and it's I'm not sure whether that's good or bad I was probably bad I would say but it, it doesn't matter it is what it is there's nothing we can do about it it just is a fact of life so in understanding a patient's request to have I would like to have a natural result I think what people are really mostly requesting is um, a nice result from their surgery, which involves significant upper pole fullness, which in many circumstances uh, will, will require a breast implant to produce. Whether the request is for a breast augmentation, making smaller breasts bigger, or a lift where the breast volume is adequate, but the shape of the breast is suboptimal to that person, the breast may be droopy or flat, uh, or even a breast reduction, and in some people with really low drooping breasts, a reduction won't give the upper pole fullness required by the patient. So weirdly, there's now uh, an operation that we sometimes do, which is a, called a, 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 an under and over or a top and bottom, um, where, where a, the major reduction is done at the lower part of the breast, but at the same time, a small implant is put in to create um, upper pole fullness. It's also called a plus minus. So um, perceptions of what normality is, I think underpins our assessment and where we begin the discussion with a, a patient around what operation is best for them to achieve the breast that they want.